if you want the fire of heaven to be part of your life do you cry lord i want the fire from heaven then listen the secret the lord says build up an altar on earth then the fire from heaven will fall from you yes that's why in psalm 27:8 says david his share, his experience he shares with us my heart says to me my david if you want blessing david you want direction david you want anything in life do you want growth do you want anointing do you want blessing david says my heart says seek his face yes seek the face of the lord and everything needed for you will be accomplished so the starting point you seek him to be understand to be understood that god is seeking you god is with you build up the altar build up the fire start to pray move with the god that god will move with you this is the secret the lord spoke through james in james chapter 4 verse 8 draw close to god that is the first point take your heart to god and then you will experience god is drawing to you this is what jeremiah said with us in jeremiah 33 3 you first call upon the lord and you will hear him hearing your voice and doing wonderful things in your life build up an altar in your life in your heart in your family and so the promises of god in your heart in your family and then wherever you go even if you die the promise that you sowed will continue to move on to you to your children your children's children in today's first reading we know that how barnabas has taken uh, paul Paul was Paul had a wonderful experience of the Lord as he was coming to what's Jerusalem we know that experience the great light came from heaven and he was anointed he was blind and his eyes were open and the Lord told him that he has to suffer and become a great apostle but nobody is willing to accept him so he has to go back to Tarsus and stay there when barnabas heard it he went there and brought him kept him in antioch made him to see the miracles and wonders god has done to paul god was preparing paul today barnabas doing tomorrow you get to yes fire fire was lit in his heart he started to pray now next barnabas takes him to jerusalem where the apostles are there nobody wanted to accept to paul but the pastor took him to jerusalem and what the apostles can do they heard all that barnabas and paul said oh hey okay okay very good very good very good congratulations okay continue human beings can do only that much can appreciate you can even give some gifts to you that's all now barnabas and paul they are returning back to antioch there something happens the word of god says when they return chapter 13 of acts of the apostles was one there were prophets in antioch antioch means ordinary people who loved god who were loving who had great heart of prayer who were great intercessors who had experienced the lord 
as soon as Paul and Barnabas came and shared, we went to Jerusalem. The apostles said, okay, go ahead. But no fire. No fire. Nothing. They expected something. More will happen. Nothing happened. But when they returned to Antioch, the prophets gathered together and chapter 13 verse 2 says, while they were offering worship, they knit the fire, fire of worship. Now Paul and Barnabas, they come after meeting Jerusalem with great expectation. Nothing has happened. Don't worry. You don't expect anything great thing from any human being. You have to knit the fire. You don't allow your spirit of courage, your spirit of love for God and for you and for one another to be put off. You have to lit the fire of worship to the Lord. If the fire from heaven has to come, you have to knit. We are living in the atmosphere of sickness, sin, suffering and so much of discouragement all speaking, ill of maybe government, ill of people, that is not happening, this is not happening that is not going to solve our problems move with the fire move into the fire move into the Lord and the Lord will move into you, through you the Lord will move into your nation the Lord will move into your people the glory of God will move into you. Now, these simple people, the prophets, they joined together. Number one, they started to worship God. The word of God says, they worshipped God. And second, what did they do? They say, they started to fast and pray for Paul and Barnabas. Lord, empower them, anoint them. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Oh, one side, praise and worship. Other side, fasting and praying. And then, a revelation comes from heaven. A great anointing comes. And the prophets are speaking prophecy. What is the prophecy? Set apart Paul and Barnabas. Let them not think that their lives is going to be ended. No! God is using them. God is sending them. Let them go. Set them apart. And God is with them. Yes. When we set the fire here, the fire from heaven is coming. It is not that we cry and the fire comes and we are filled with the fire and we are moving around. No! Your heart, your family, your home is the altar where we set the fire. We call upon the Lord. The word of God says, call upon me and I will answer you and I will reveal to you the things beyond your understanding. But the starting point is, you call upon him. You set your heart on him. And then the anointing, the fire comes upon you. Yes. Now, when they were, 13th chapter verse 3 says, these prophets, they were filled with the praising, thanking God, worshipping God, glorifying God. They received the anointing. They started and pray and for Paul and Barnabas and more anointing. Do you want your home to be filled with the presence when you are cutting the vegetables? Praise him. Thank him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you. We thank you, Jesus. Continue to praise him. Thank him. Build up the fire. Do you want your food has to be a blessing for your wife, your husband, your children? Move it with anointing, with the worship. Build up the fire in your home. Conversation is going to be, this is not there, that is not there. So many type of thoughts evil is going to bring from different minds. Before that comes, you build up the fire of the Lord. Lord's anointing. And then 13th chapter verse 3 says, before sending, they further started to fast and prayed. They started to further fasting and praying. And then they called Paul and Barnabas. Now you come. They never said to me. Barnaba never said, I am the apostle. I am sure Barnaba might have first knelt down. And Paul knelt down. And these saints, they laid their hands on them. And they started to pray. They sowed the promises. God is with you. Go ahead. The anointing came. 
they started to prophesy and with that anointing now we read in chapter 13 verse 5 they declared they went paul and barnabas now now chapter 13 verse 5 says now they are not going to any house to pray they went straight away to synagogue what is synagogue it is the place of worship of the jews god took them nobody could stop them not only to the homes of christians or believers even to the synagogue of the jews they could enter nothing can stop them do you find all kinds of obstacle in your life you need the fire to go with you and that fire will remove every obstacle today if that fire has to go it has to begin in your home in your heart you need the fire today in your heart you begin to praise god you fill yourself with the presence of god and then the further anointing will come from heaven mm-hmm.